All right, guys, many of you wanted to see a quick video of how I installed the Hobby Wing Mini 16. This is the Fusion uh, Mini 16. Uh, I guess it's really called the Quick Run Fusion Mini 16. These are 3000 kV motors uh, on the Kyosho Blizzard platform. This is actually a Trail King, uh, but your yours will be the same. So um, real quick, they bolted up really easily using the stock hardware, so uh, no issues there. I did have to use an axial pinion. Uh, this is an axial pinion, and I'll put the, the part number in the video for you guys. Um, one thing to note is that the set screw, you're going to want to use the set screw that comes with the old pinion, uh, as the set screw that comes with the axial one sticks out too far and will grind on the motor mount. So just keep your old pinion. It makes a huge difference. makes it a lot easier. I learned that from somebody else on this page, on the Kyosho Blizzard page. So whoever that was, shout out to you. Um, but yeah, keep that pinion. It makes a world of difference. They bolt right up. It's really simple. Uh, and then I just shoved all the electronics into the box. Pretty messy, obviously. But um, at the end of the day, pretty straightforward. The purposes of the install, once you get your motors mounted uh, and your wires run, uh, your top motor here, if you're looking at the model in this orientation, I have that one plugged in, and that's the one I took the BEC power off of. Um, I have that one plugged in to aux one, and then I have this motor over here plugged into throttle. I also have the lights plugged into the uh, bat port, basically on the receiver, as you can see here. Uh, it's just to give your lights power so that all plugs in. I then uh, ran all of those uh, ESCs out and I just soldered them into the main line here. Uh, really simple. So again, your main line comes in on the switch, runs up into the box here, and all you have to do is take your blacks and your reds and put them together. And then that way you can still utilize your on-off switch back here. So obviously you don't want to keep your LiPo or whatever plugged in all the time, but you can use that soft switch when you're out in the field. Uh, so that just runs back in, it's really simple. And then I just left these switches in here and I left them in the on position. Again, you're not gonna be using, turn, you don't want to turn on one speed control without the other. So those are both just shoved in this box uh, with left on in the on position. So now we're gonna jump over to the radio and I'll show you guys how I did the programming. Okay guys, <clears throat> so on this, this is a, uh, DX5R, your uh, your radio, if it's a DX5C, I don't think you'll have enough mixing mixes uh, to do this. So this is uh, on a 5R. You can do it on a 5 Pro as well. Uh, so you'll see here in the monitor, uh, if I go to the monitor screen, you'll see that when I steer left and right, it also inputs throttle and aux one. And I did, uh, one thing to note is I did not yet do a programming card to this so one motor is actually operating in reverse which i believe is causing a little bit of a trim issue so once i get that sorted out i think if i put both motors in the forward direction quote unquote for the speed control uh they'll have equal power so right now it's a little funky uh, but it does seem to work perfectly fine but i do have the programming card coming so you probably don't need the programming card, but I think for this thing to be perfect, you definitely want the programming card and you want to switch one of those motors around so they're both going in the forward direction or they're both going forward. Because right now this radio is operating uh, the speed control, one of them in reverse. But anyway, <clears throat> here's what's happening. So as I steer left, both uh, throttle and aux one are inputting, you can see there, and as I steer to the other direction, they're both going another direction there. So um, to do that, it's really quite simple actually. So you're gonna push in and you're gonna go to your mixes. And here I have a uh, mix one, a mix two, and a mix three all active here. I have mix zero, mix one, and mix two. So let's go up to mix zero here. So this one I have steering to throttle at a rate of negative 49. And so as I steer, it's gonna add throttle in the direction that I need it. And to do this, I just tested basically one direction, turn the wheel to the left, and if the model turned to the right, I knew it was the wrong way. If, it, if I turn the wheel to the left, the model went to the left, then I knew it would work fine. So yours will be different probably uh, in your setup, but just do that left and right, and you'll kind of figure out which way it needs to go. So naturally, the next thing to do is to do the other side. 
oops, went to the wrong button here. Uh, so you go into mix one, again, steering now, uh, same thing, steering to aux one, which is where I have the other speed control plugged into. And again, the opposite direction here, so plus 49. And again, uh, it's gonna work. Your mileage may vary on that. Once we go back one more, we now need to do <clears throat> mix of your throttle uh, in total to aux one as well. So uh, that's gonna basically match one side to the other side when you pull the trigger, they both go forward, right? And so this one here is throttle to aux one. Now, you, when you pull the throttle lever, your one of your speed controls will go forward because they're plugged into the throttle port and you just need to match the direction here. So again, I did a 100% here on the positive side. So as I pull throttle, you can see that aux one is now matching it in the opposite direction. And now when I change my speed control directions, I think that'll all, it'll all change. But for now, as I pull throttle, both uh, speed controls are going roughly. You see how they're a little off here, but they're going roughly the same at full throttle. They're doing both 96 and at full reverse, they're both 99. So a little bit of funkiness there. I think I need to calibrate my uh, trigger, but that's basically it guys. Those are the three major mixes you need. As long as you plug them in the same ports there, I think even if you plug them in different ports, the concept is you need, you know, one, one, you need three mixes, one throttle mix to the other track. So you're mixing one side or the other. You need a steering mix so that you uh, rotate one track faster than the other. Uh, and then a steering mix for the other side. So it turns left and right. And so when you put it all together, as you're going, when you hit throttle and then you also steer here, uh, so I can reach. So as I'm throttling and I also steer, you can still, it still inputs uh, smooth controls. And that basically gets you to this. slow it can go. Here's some very minor throttle input. Just a quick turn and I'll keep going back this direction. So very, very slow, very controllable. Stop. 